Hi, my name is Gene Mendoza, and for my senior project, I decided to do a spec ad for the Sony Alpha camera series. I wanted to showcase their low light capabilities and their high frame rate options. I do like to film in 60 and 120 frames per second a lot, and that's because I like to do a lot of slow motion and different speed ramps. Um, but yeah, anyways, this whole project took me a hundred hours to complete and six and a half of those hours went into pre-production planning, which includes doing my research on the Sony brand, networking, reaching out to potential models, talent for this commercial, the scheduling with the talent and figuring out what time works and, you know, weather plans, um, and then I also did some mood board planning, I guess. I didn't really have a real script or storyboard or anything like that, just because this was going to be more of a compilation of beautiful shots that I could get. Um, but yeah, anyways, I basically just had mood boards and they were these screenshots of favorite scenes uh, from some of my favorite movies and cult classics and these are shots um, that I always thought were really beautiful or interesting or inspiring um, or just really cool looking and I had always been curious as to how they filmed it, what camera they used, what the frame rate was, what lens and how they edited it in post. Um, and so that was what I did in my pre-production planning. And then I put 53 hours into production or shoot days. And that includes picking up the gear, going to the location, setting it up, blocking the scene, directing and working with the talent, and then taking it all back down and bringing it back to the production office. Um, and I did that in six separate weekends. Um, and then my post-production process took 40 and a half hours. And that includes creating an organized and super structured file system just so that everything was easy to find um, and locate when it came to the actual editing process. And then I took a lot of hours to create proxies because I did film in 60 and 120 frames per second a lot. And in 4K, it was um, very clunky. And so creating proxies just makes the um, editing smoother and faster um, and without lag, basically. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how long it took me to do every single, like, stage um, for this project but yeah I trying to think oh yeah I only really had challenges with scheduling communication with the talent sometimes they either couldn't make it something happened or they just completely bailed or communication was very slow and so it made things uncertain um, that was very stressful and then the weather just was not clearing up as soon as I had wanted to. Um, the first half of the semester, it was still gray, cloudy, very rainy, um, and things hadn't really bloomed yet. And for certain shots, I wanted to wanted it to be really bright and warm and glowing and with lots of green around. Um, and so a lot of things had to get pushed back just because of complications with scheduling and the weather. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this was a really cool experience. I really love this project just because it's something that I worked on like 99% by myself. The only thing I didn't do by myself was the um, opening landscape drone shot and that was done by my friend Flood Silveira um, and he's done all my drone cinematography for all my other projects 
But yeah, it was cool being able to be the producer, director, cinematographer, and editor for this whole entire project just because um, it's something that I can show as a demo reel uh, that showcases my variety in those skills. Um, but yeah, so that's my senior project.